100 miles is it's a hard thing for people to understand. People say I'm crazy. People say my brain's not wired right. But, you know, I'm not a common person. I don't expect to be understood. I remember always feeling lost. Always beating myself up. I struggled with depression to the point where I wanted to take my own life. A year ago, started running my ass off. Running was the only way I could manage those internal doubts about myself. And then eventually I started to gain confidence over time through discipline. <laughs> you know, I never really was a great swimmer and I hardly ever rode a bike but I gave myself a week's notice to train for this Ironman triathlon. Swam five kilometers, biked 180, and then ran a full marathon. I thought, if I can do this, what can't I do? So I decided that 100 miles is my next challenge. But it broke me. Mile 89, those doubts started to creep in again. Yeah. Just get him in the car and go to the hospital. Will the ambulance come? I fell to those thoughts. And I quit, essentially. I remember I spent hours. I'd be out here for like five hours. Yeah. Just shooting pucks, playing hockey. That's the same net that's been there since I was maybe about 10 years old. I put those shoestrings up on the net just to like try to make my own net. That was a long, long time ago. How old was I here? 2012. I was born oh, in 2000. I was 12 years 12? old. <laughs> that was oh. before the big growth yeah. spurt. Oh my god. Oh, there's the do. There's the hairdo. <laughs> Darius was two years old when he came into my life. He was born with fetal alcohol syndrome, and his bio mom left when he was eight months old. Then his nana passed away when he was five because she was in her own addictions. He didn't get close to too many people. He always asked, why didn't they stay? Why did they leave? You know, why wasn't I good enough? It shaped the little guy he was. You know, I grew up not really having many people that actually care about me, and that's why I carry these trust issues. You know, it, was a long, it took a long time for me to even to trust you and to trust anybody. Who comes Darius around. is remarkable. That's why I was mad. I wanted to, to talk to about show, your struggles. Like, hey, it takes courage. You got your shit together. Yeah. But it's all mental. I get a little bit more of that. It's been incredible like, watching this transformation <laughs> at 20 years old. Yeah. Hey man, Mark here. Putting in the work. Doing our damn thing, man. And I think he's got unlimited potential. Darius did 89 miles and he only trained for 28 days, which is an unbelievable feat of mental strength. His grandpa Shane has been a huge influence. He was a kind of an outlaw that year. Was he? <laughs> yeah, he would give it to you once in a while. I did a lot of running. 
the pain is something else that he can't describe. But I think he's got a pretty good, strong heart. You can almost callous your mind the same way that you callous your hands. What do you think about that? I think that's a great idea. The small family that I have, they believe in me. So I decided to try to run 100 miles again. In a warm environment and then keep moving as soon as I'm out of that. Because you're trying to go all night, right? And there's no shame in yeah. having to stop and yeah. rest. And It's in December, so worst case scenario is Mother Nature sends down a blizzard on me. Oh, shit. But there is no quit this time. I got socks. No, I mean like I got I got socks for like I got socks for running, but I don't know. If it's Sweaters, t-shirts, pants. Yeah. This time I'm running for mental health awareness. I've lost a lot of people to addiction. <sighs> they don't have the chance to do what I do. This is for them. Great spirit and crater of all things we call. And those that were runners that brought messages through the valley many, many, many generations ago. We just ask that he take care of Darius today and his run and guide him, direct him, and protect him. He thought I say all my relations. There you go. doing amazing just the only thing that worries me is his feet ah. yeah. <laughs> once you start out buddy you'll be all right your muscles get back in the groove again yeah So what else is going on? I've been it's really been good so far. Yeah. Mentally yeah. good. Yeah. Just, just her ankle, hey. Yeah, I'm gonna need a miracle to reel this thing in. Yeah. Okay. I know there's always more though. You got way more. You got way more. Last time I saw you, you couldn't even talk straight. Last time? Yeah. You couldn't even talk. You're good. Don't even think about the way back. Here we are, 50 miles in with my man Darius. How you feeling, boss? Hey! <laughs> What's up? Uh, yeah, come out, support. Yeah. I'm ready to bring this thing home, close this chapter on my life, and move on to bigger things. All right. Thanks so much for the support, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Woo. All right, guys. Good. All right, let's go to work. Okay. Okay. Love you. Love you, Darius. All right. Thanks, guys.
Yeah. That's fucking, that's too deep. Hold on. Yeah. That's, okay. No, that was too deep. Like, I was going to say something. Oh, okay. I think it's too much. Okay, okay. Too much. Well, just share whatever you feel comfortable Yeah. With. You can decide whether you want to use it or not use it later. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I've had I've had a barrel barrel of a gun in my, my mouth. I've had a barrel of a rifle in my mouth, locked and ready to go. I was 16. Lost. Depressed. No end in sight, but the end was very near. It was on the trigger. Looking back now, that's why this means so much to me. Because I know how it feels to be in that position of one second and I could take my life. I could be gone. I could succumb to my feelings of unworthiness. Your feet start to go first. Then it works its way up to your ankles, calves, knees, upper legs, core, your lower back, shoulders. Once it gets to your head, the real war starts. You start to doubt yourself. You know, what am I doing out here? Why am I out here? Who do I think I am? You don't mean shit. Pack it in. Go home. beating me up, I have to remind myself why I'm there. I know them being watched over by the elders of the valley, so I feel like if I don't owe it to myself, then I owe it to them. Thank you. 
risk your life, my boy. Right there. Not that you could stop you, kid. He did it. Just one second. He's a very young man. Anybody? You enjoy them. And you can do anything. You can literally do anything. This person that's standing right here, I invented this person.